Hey guys, welcome back. Well, it's Friday, so if you know my channel, you know what that means, right? It's Time Lapse Friday. Now, uh, although this is a time lapse, I'm going to talk you guys through it, and what we're going to be doing is creating a stairwell. And I'm going to show you guys how to model that, but also how to use certain techniques to make sure that it's an easy process, right? Here we go. Okay guys, well, when doing something like this, it's all about being consistent, right? You want to use as much symmetry as possible because you're gonna be copying stuff a lot, especially if you got a larger building and you want to copy things over. Like for example, with the steps right here, every step is copied and then every set of steps is copied, right? And when they're all exactly the same, that makes sense because it will align much better. Now with these two created, I need to create that intermediate platform where you end up once you are up one stairs and you don't want to go up the next staircase. Put that in place and making sure that's all lined up. All right, that looks about right. So obviously we need a couple of more of those, but first what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna create the railing here. So I'm using a cylinder, but you could probably use a, a cube for that and extend that. Um, I'm taking out the top and bottom faces because you don't really need those. But especially in this case, um, keep notice of the height, right? And if you need to, what you can do is put a character in there just for reference, right? So uh, same system here, uh, when I set one up and uh, copy it over, I uh, hit Shift D to copy it and put it in the exact same distance and height. So it will snap to the stairs, uh, you know, that's one up and so forth. So I copied that over, put that down. And now for the railing, uh, initially I wanted to create a railing that would kind of extend uh, outside the dimensions of the verticals. And later on, I'm gonna change that. But right here, what I'm doing is I'm putting that middle section. Now I'm doing that first for the simple reason that once that's in place, I can insert two edge loops and extend them over to the ends. And from that uh, horizontal piece, I can then start to uh, extrude those faces up and downward. So that's gonna give me a lot more control over their direction, right? So I'm gonna go in there and I'm gonna take one of those faces, uh, hit Control E to extrude, pull that out and pull that up. Now, typically at the top of one of those verticals, you will have a little horizontal piece. So I'm aligning it with uh, just the angle of that. And as you can see, it's not perfectly above the verticals right now. And uh, that's because I originally wanted to make it a bit wider, right? So I'll fix that later. So that seems to be all right. And then if you want to have more sidebars that are touching those verticals, you can do that if you want. Uh, but this is just to show you guys a technique. And because I put that horizontal piece in the middle there, I can now take the other one and extrude that downward. And as you can see, it's a pretty fast process, right? Now, right here, I'm just uh, fixing those railings so that they're, uh, you know, on top of the verticals, which is uh, pretty important, obviously. Let's get that into place. That should be good. And it's starting to look a little bit more like a, a star wall or staircase, okay? All right, so now that we have that in place, uh, you kind of need to figure out, okay, how many floors do I have? Uh, how much uh, do I need to copy up and uh, so forth? Uh, what I'm doing right now is taking that platform. I want one up there and one down there. And once you got the system in place, you can go as high as you need to, right? Now, typically you wouldn't be creating 20 floors because if you got a scene to animate, you would probably, you know, just use, uh, you know, one set over and over to create the illusion of height, as they do, for example, in the TV show, The Big Bang Theory, right? Okay, so uh, let's see. I'm putting a casing around this just to get a sense of what it will look like. And of course, it's gonna be black on one side because it's, uh, you know, basically planes. I ex uh, extruded that a little bit so we won't get those black faces. And what I'm doing right now is creating a door. 
So I have an idea of what it will look like once these doors are in place. And here the same method applies. Once you've got one uh, created, you can obviously uh, copy that over and over and over. So we'll give that a sec. I'm gonna get rid of that back face uh, once I'm done because we don't need that, of course. And it's always good practice to get rid of anything you don't see. Creating a little doorknob here. Just cutting out those faces and extending that. So you got something of a doorknob uh, axis, I think. Yep. Put that in, get it into place, kind of scale it down a little bit, and that should be okay. Now I'm gonna combine that whole thing so it's easy to copy. And then we're gonna bring that in. And for the tutorial purpose, those walls are a little bit in the way, so I'm probably just gonna move that out of the way. Yeah, there you go. So I'm gonna put a couple of doors in place. And as you will see, once that is the case on one floor, it's extremely easy to just take a set of doors and copy them up or down, depending on what you're doing, right? Now this system can be used for basically any building where you got a setup like this, you know, a school building or whatever. But, uh, you know, as you can see, it's, it's pretty uh, systemic, I would say. Yeah. Okay, so um, just trying to get things back into space here. And what you typically have when you go into a building like this is you would see a ceiling uh, above the stairs only in a situation where there's no further steps above you, right? So normally you would be looking at the bottom of the steps above you unless you get to the top floor there. And sometimes you will have a ceiling at an angle and that's what I'm showing you right here. And I'm doing that simply by just uh, extruding that edge, right? You can do that, you don't have to, but uh, I thought it kind of looked cool. If you decide to do that, make sure you are at the same angle as uh, the stairs, right? That makes it look better. So that's basically it from a rendering standpoint. It's kind of hard to do a render that's appealing when you got everything going on here because it's not really a scene. So I decided to just take the interior and take that into a key shot to give you, an idea, to give you guys an idea what it looks like, right? Well, that's basically all there's to it, guys. So uh, that's it for this uh, Time Lapse Friday. If you've got any suggestions for uh, upcoming Fridays, uh, let me know in the comments. And uh, if I can, I will make it, all right? Well, that's all there's to it, guys. Uh, thank you very much for watching. As always, if you don't want to miss out on future videos, make sure you subscribe. And I just want to give you guys a heads up that on September 1st, I will be announcing the brand new MH Tutorials 3D Modeling Challenge, right? So don't miss that, right? Well, you guys have a great weekend and see you guys soon. Bye.